Hi, I'm Amy Gibbs, and this is the Art Heritage Lesson for Claude Monet for um, District 51, uh, Mesa County Valley School District 51 Art Heritage. What we're going to be doing is a reflection um, chalk painting. So what you need to do first, first of all, you will have paper in your box. The paper is a little bit heavier than the usual paper. Um, it comes in large size, so you'll need to cut it down to about this size. This is about 9 by 12. Um, anything close to this is fine. Then you will also be getting little bins of chalk. This is coloring chalk. Um, they'll be, look like this. They're all in different colors. Uh, I would expect three, four, maybe five kids, if you really needed to, to share one of these bins. So you'll get enough bins for you to be able to do at least one class that way. And you will also have um, spray bottles with which you'll put water, in which you'll put water. So the lesson goes like this. Each child should have a piece of paper. And they'll need to fold their paper in half. And this is a good time to review some of those skills and terms. In half, either way, it doesn't matter. This is vertically. This would be horizontally. So fold it in half. Then you will open up the paper again and the students will draw just above the fold. So they'll use chalk and draw a picture of whatever they want above the fold. Keep in mind that below the fold is going to be a reflection in the water. So they might want to do bridges or plants or trees or um, some things that might reflect nicely in the water. So let me show you one that's almost done. Okay, so once you have your painting done, once the children have their chalk drawing on the top half of the paper, what we're going to do then is we're going to spritz it with water, with your water bottle, fairly liberally, get it pretty wet, fold it back down, and rub it. so that the chalk transfers to the bottom half of the paper. Okay, then you have a reflection on the bottom half of the paper. Next, what you want to do in the reflection, because it's water, you need to have some water marks. And you can use white or light blue and just little white dashes all over. It gives it a little bit of a look of water. Then I also made little goldfish in the pond. Just a simple little fish shape in the pond. And maybe some water lilies that are just a little oval shape. And then they have a bright cup shaped flower. Like that. I'm going to hold this up and show you. Okay. You have a little bit of water life down there. So that's the Monet. Um, project for our heritage. Have fun!